we're presenting the results from our study on the association between type 2 diabetes, curative treatment and survival in men with intermediate and high-risk localized prostate cancer. So the reason we wanted to do this study is because prostate cancer and diabetes are two increasingly prevalent conditions which often occur together in the same man. And we know that it's a very uh, complex interaction between prostate cancer and diabetes whereby they influence each other's incidence as well as the treatments influence each other. And so we know that the current prostate cancer guidelines recommend curative treatment for localized prostate cancer when man's life expectancy is at least 10 years. So therefore, we then ask the question, does a diagnosis of diabetes decrease the probability of curative treatment in man with localized prostate cancer? And for this study, we use data from PC Bay Sweden, which is based on the National Prostate Cancer Register from Sweden. The main outcome variable that we were then interested in is, of course, treatment with radical prostatectomy or radiotherapy in man with localized prostate cancer. And we then wanted to link that outcome with um, type 2 diabetes, which we defined as at least two consecutive prescriptions for an anti-diabetic drug over um, a period of six months. And we used logistic regression models to then calculate odds ratios. And so you can see from our findings here that we did see that men who do have diabetes were less likely to receive curative treatment for their prostate cancer. So an odds ratio of 0.78 shows that men with diabetes are 22% less likely to receive curative treatment compared to those who do not have diabetes. And the findings were statistically significant with a confidence interval going from 0.69 to 0.87. Now, when we find this um, result, we also have to question whether this is actually clinically correct because maybe life expectancy for these men is also less than 10 years. So then we look specifically at overall survival rates for men with diabetes and high-risk prostate cancer with and without curative treatment, and those with curative treatment had a much higher um, survival rate. But interestingly, if you look at the figure and we look at cumulative incidences for um, overall death, you can see that it does indeed increase when you do not get curative treatment, but the proportion of prostate cancer specific death also increases substantially if there is no um, curative treatment. So what we can conclude from this study is that men with type 2 diabetes are less likely to receive curative treatment and if you uh, have curative treatment you have a higher chance of survival. However, some of these findings can be probably explained due to selection bias because men uh, who are slightly healthier will be selected to undergo curative treatment. However, when we look at the proportion of prostate cancer specific death, there was still 22% of men who died from prostate cancer when they did not get curative treatment. So. Clinicians have to carefully assess their patients and ensure that those with type 2 diabetes and prostate cancer are not under or over treatment because there is a potential um, for missing a chance for curative treatment.